Hello dreamers, this is Rob with AV Dreamer. Today we're gonna do a video tour of a client's home. Um, they've got a theater room downstairs or theater slash family room downstairs. And it's a 7.2.4 system uh, that I installed when they were building the home. Um, and then we're gonna take a look at a Samsung, the frame TV that's upstairs above the fireplace. So sit back and enjoy the show. So coming from the downstairs here, we walk into the main family room, which again doubles as their home theater. So on the wall here, we have a 75 inch Sony 4K TV, and I'll get you the model number here. And then we have a couple of SVS 12 inch subs. I want, uh, the model number escapes me at the moment but I'll uh, put that on the screen here. And then we also have three of the TDG Audio NFLCR-53, which is their TDG Audio's premium in-wall speakers with a couple of five and a quarter inch Kevlar woofers, as well as a one inch dome, dome, one inch dome tweeter that is aimable towards the listener, listener position and the grills are magnetic. Slap on there just like so. And then controlling everything, we have a URC, that is the M MX-990, which is a fully backlit um, remote control and it's RF as well. And you'll see why it's RF here in a minute, but Really slick little remote, fully backlit. Recharges on the little stand there. And they just hit one button and everything comes on and goes to its correct setting. Really nice setup. Then in the ceilings, we have, we got here six in ceiling speakers. We got TDG Audio Angle Dolby Atmos speakers. I got four of them. I'm gonna have to switch to manual mode here because I can't seem to stay focused. And these are all angled speakers except for a couple of them. And we got four of them in the back here now. Originally that couch was supposed to be more in the middle of the room. Um, that's why the speakers are located where they are. I know it's not ideal where they're at right now, but surprisingly it sounds pretty darn good but uh, the wife decided that uh, they gotta have the couch further back. So, but ideally, I would have the couch somewhere in the middle of the room, a little closer to the TV, and you would get a better, little bit better immersive experience. But it works. And we'll just take a quick look here. Now I have the audio off because I don't want uh, YouTube to flag me for copyright, so just do the picture for the moment. And these are the TDG Audio angled speakers with aimable tweeter. Sorry, I've got a light really close to my camera, so playing havoc on my focus, but there we go. Really nice little speaker, lifetime warranty. And the uh, Tweeter bridge also doubles as a handle during installation, so it makes it real easy to install these. But as you can see, that speaker is angled towards the listener position as well as the tweeter. And here's a look at some more TDG Audio in wall speakers. Again with the aimable tweeter, six and a half inch driver on the back here. Lifetime warranty, pretty sweet setup. Now when I was pre-wiring the house, uh, when I was putting the uh, roughing kits for the speakers, um, there was a different design for this fireplace. That speaker is not supposed to be this close to the fireplace, but um, once the sheet rock was up, I couldn't change anything, and then they decided they wanted a little different setup, so that's why that speaker is that close. But normally I would have it a little bit closer, but I did want to allow them um, for a future upgrade so they could add a bigger television as well as a little bit more stereo separation um, in this room. So now we go from the family room 
into where the equipment's actually installed because you're probably wondering, well, where's all the equipment? Now, this is a spare bedroom directly behind the wall, and I put in an MA Middle Atlantic AV rack here, and it looks turned out pretty well. I mean, this bedroom isn't used much except for guests, but when uh, they just simply come in here to put a DVD in, and otherwise they never even have to come in here because that remote turns everything on. And everything's operated by RF. And then as well as, uh, I think I've only got, I've got a couple devices in here with IR repeaters. And then I got a uh, AC Infinity cooling system as well as an Anthem MRX 720 and a Nuvo four channel amplifier that comes on automatically as well as a 4K Sony Blu-ray player. And then down below here we have a Dish Network Hopper. And then above here we have the uh, Panamax power system. Keeps everything protected. And then we have some fans on top here that automatically come on. But all the wire and everything comes through the back wall there. Can't really see it, but that's the idea. But uh, turned out really well. So we'll back out of here and head back into the living room, or no, the family room rather. back into the main room. This is the uh, network room where we have a Luxel 3150 router, wireless router, but it's also controlling two Luxel wireless access points uh, installed elsewhere in the house. Then we got a Luxel uh, gigabit uh, switch as well as the modem power center and then uh, what we can't see here behind this panel is where all the cable, coax cable, RG6 coax comes from the um, rest of the house. So we have RG6 running to all the rooms and uh, we have actually have an antenna on the roof as well so they can have a backup television other than satellite. That concludes the tour of uh, this client home out here in Utah. So if you like any like what you saw today in the video, please give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe. It helps my channel out quite a bit. And uh, I'll put the contact information down here. If there's any products you saw in the video you have questions about or if you want to make a purchase, I'm an authorized dealer for everything you saw here. So um, if you, or you just have any general installation questions or whatever, uh, reach out to me and I uh, will try to get back to you as soon as I can. So you have a great day and keep dreaming.